Reactions on the Supreme Court's ruling are pouring in across North Carolina with polar opposite opinions between Republicans and Democrats. Our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, joins us now to break it all down on who's saying what. Very different reactions, Emma, within one state. Yeah, definitely. There's obviously two completely different camps here. Republicans across the state are celebrating this ruling as a milestone victory for human life. And then Democrats are devastated. Uh, previously constituted right for women has been taken away and left for the states to decide. So North Carolina's governor, Roy Cooper, said in a statement, quote, for 50 years, women have relied on their constitutional right to make their own medical decisions. But today, that right has been tragically ripped away. Our lieutenant governor just below Cooper, Mark Robinson, called for action in his statement, saying in part, here in North Carolina, it would be a cause for work not celebration. Currently in North Carolina, abortion's legal for any reason up to 20 weeks of pregnancy. This is unacceptable. That is why I'm calling on the General Assembly to act, end quote. I did speak with both Democrats and Republicans from North Carolina's General Assembly today to get their take on this ruling. Take a listen to what some of these reps said. We have, to date, not passed a trigger law that immediately makes abortion illegal or criminalized like we've seen in some other states. So that's the good news. The bad news is we are precariously close to having a law like we've seen in Texas and other places passed here in North Carolina. We will examine this issue very closely, but I feel like there's a strong sentiment that uh, we're, we're definitely anti-abortion and pro-life. So I think we will legislate in that way. Uh, I do not know what the final legislation looks at like at this point in time, but I do feel like it will have that flavor. Okay, so right now, if Republicans in the General Assembly were to try to pass legislation that would be too extreme, it would get vetoed by Governor Cooper. The only way to override Cooper's veto is if they have a supermajority and they're one seat away, at least in the Senate, from having that. So it'll be interesting to see how these elections play out. Back to you. Thank you, Emma.